Hi guys, it's Amanda. Welcome back. It's been quite a while since I have recorded a fluid art video. And I've taken a break for a few reasons. I haven't done any oracle card videos either. Um, I just took a break from YouTube and TikTok videos for a while. Because, number one, I needed more GAC 800, which is one of the parts of my pouring medium. I needed a new phone, because this one, my old phone that I used to record with, um, it won't hold a charge at all. It won't stay on long enough to record a video, or even whenever it did, it wouldn't finish recording the end of the video. The sound was never there. And I've started playing these online reality games and I just finished up one that was a survivor version and these games are in discord I just finished that up I placed fourth place and I won the fan favorite and the most heroic which those are just things voted on by the viewers but anyway um the viewers and maybe the hosts I don't know but anyway in my org online reality game that I'm in now. It's a Big Brother version. And for our week three HOH challenge, we are going to be given, as soon as I put the code in my phone, it's an art challenge, but um, it's not a fluid art challenge, sadly. It's supposed to be a realistic type drawing that you can do, but I did ask for clarification from the producers on the game, and I'm allowed to use a fluid art piece and pretend that it matches whatever prompt I am given. And I'm thinking that if I have some allies and they know that I'm a fluid artist, maybe they will. The second part of the challenge is that we are going to be given 500 fake pennies or whatever. It's not pennies, but like 500 fake monies. And we can divide them however we like between all of the pictures that everyone submits. And since I can't draw, I can't do anything realistically like with my hands to draw or paint. I'm going to bank on the fact that some of my allies may know that I'm a fluid artist and maybe, even though it's going to be completely 100% abstract, I'm hoping that I can get some votes that way. And I won't be able to post this until after the whole HOH thing is finished. I don't know if I'll be able to post all of this part or not until the whole game is over. I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to see. If not, I'll just cut it down and show you the actual painting and then post the full video when the game is over. But all that being said, I'm back. I have a new phone. So hopefully these videos are going to be a little bit better. The quality hopefully can be a little bit better. I'm going to log in. I have to put my connect. This is my old phone and there's no service on it anymore. But since we have Wi-Fi, I can use it over the Wi-Fi to log in to my app and get my prompt and then do a fluid art piece. I'm hoping that it's something, sorry. Okay, I'm going to go in and see how I have to start this. We have 20 minutes from the time we start to the time... If we take longer than 20 minutes to submit a picture for this challenge, we will be disqualified. So I have less than 20 minutes to do this, take a picture, and submit it for my piece. Um, but I'm hoping... I don't know what I was saying. I'm hoping that my videos will be better with my new phone and this is my old phone there's no service but i can log in to the wi-fi to get into my app to get the instructions so there's just a code that we have to type into our submission channel and it'll tell us what we're supposed to draw which i'm going to paint and i'm going to paint something and try to pretend that it's an abstract version of that 
So let's see what it is. I wonder if that's the correct code. Okay, we will submit and see what it says. Normally I do a base coat down before I start, but I'm going to do everything all at once. Try to do it in less than 20 minutes. And now that I have this phone, if it doesn't shut off in that time, it'll help me keep track of the time too. So let's see. A candle in the shape of a cow ballerina. Okay, so I'm running out of time. A candle in the shape of a cow ballerina. Okay, so I'm hoping that I can just choose some colors and choose something. Let's see. Let's see, some colors that make me think of a cow. And I'm going to use my hair dryer for this. So what time did we submit that? 4.04 a.m. So we have until 4.24 so I'll just go around the edges with some of this white that I would normally use as a base coat. And just go so that when I spread, whenever I use the hair dryer, that should cover everything. I will take and do my sides just really quickly. I know I'm wasting time on this, but I want my sides to have paint. And since it says a cow, a candle in the shape of a cow ballerina. Okay, I can't do a ballerina, but I can do some like pink for like the tutu. And I can do some black and white and maybe some brown for the cow colors. And then maybe put some orange and yellow towards the top or like not towards the top. Or, yeah, like orange and yellow towards the top for, like, the fire. And maybe do some spots of, like, the black and the brown and the white. Here, I'll just go ahead and lightly spread this, but I feel some. I feel the blob. Let's get that out of there. I don't know if I got the blob out of there or not, but lightly spread it just to, I used way too much, but I'm not going to fix it now. That's just my white, and let me just wipe my hands instead of taking time to wash my hands. So, some black and brown for the cow spots. Or maybe, I'm not sure that I have brown paint mixed up, so maybe some champagne gold or some copper or bronze or something like that for like cow spots. Okay, I think I got this. Um, this one is champagne gold, and we'll just make some like gold spots for like the cow spots, like the brown cow spots maybe. And we'll do some silver for some like gray colors, like spots maybe. And we'll do some black for some black, like cows are black and white, some are brown and white. And some may overlap. Okay, and I'll blow this out, and this will be my cow. Here, let's put some of this clear glitter paint. I know we don't need a glittery cow, but we'll put the glitter paint. I forgot that doesn't come out of there very well. We'll put the glitter paint with the tutu part, too. Okay, so here we go. I'll blow this out and make our cow. I forgot. Let's blow the light in.
Okay, so far, if you ask me, that's a pretty neat abstract concept of a cow print. So I'm just trying to get some corners. I think I'm doing okay so far with the cow print theme. Um, it's not necessarily a cow, but it's like cow print colors, more silver than black and white. Maybe I should do, I'll just leave it. And we'll do some, first we'll do, let's do some, imagine that through here, Imagine, let's see, let's imagine that through here is like the tutu area. So we'll do some pink and some pink glitter paint. I forgot it doesn't come out of here very well. Hold on. I'll have to check my time in a second. Whoa, that was way too much. That was really bad. So, whoopsie doopsie doop. Okay. Um, I can't do anything about it now. So, what do I want to put with my pink for my tutu? Maybe some neon pink. Well, I didn't shake that one up. Okay, so we'll do this for like the tutu for the ballerina part. Okay, so that's not exactly what I was hoping for, but we'll do that. And then we'll try to do, what color should our candle be? Mm, maybe the candle can be, um, I know the cow is supposed to be the candle, but let's see. Do I have any purple? No, but I have a turquoise. I know I have a purple somewhere. Let's just use light blue violet. And this is going to be like the candle outline. And that's kind of over the tutu part too, but just being as abstract as possible. Okay, maybe I was better off just doing the cow colors. And then I could have, I don't know. But we'll see. For the flame on the candle, we're going to do yellow and orange. And then I can maybe touch this up a little bit. And figure something out. We'll put a dab of red in there too. This is the flame part.
this is just a complete and utter mess. Um, I lost everything from that part. So everything together is just a big mess. Um, I don't like this. So I can't submit this. That's like my flame and my cow collars are gone. Let's add, let's re-add the cow collars maybe. I had like my cow collars, my tutu collar, my candle and my flame, but let's add the cow collars back and see what happens. Sorry. Um, and then we had a little bit of this, which didn't really work out. That's the clear glitter paint. What else did we have? Some of the gold. And some silver. And then maybe I can do just a little bit of pink through here. Maybe do it all together at the Pink of the tutu through here, and then just a little bit of this light blue violet for the shape of the candle, but not quite so much. And then my um, that's my candle, and there's some flame. We'll just see how it turns out this time. And this will be all I have time for, so this will have to be what I submit. And then if it's really bad, when it dries, I can paint over it. Oh, and I totally forgot the white with silicone for any cells. That's good. Okay, so this is what it's going to be. How much time do we have? I have like five minutes left. I don't know that I want to go over that again. Okay, so I kind of lost my cow colors. I but it's just let's see. Let's torch and see if we can bring up anything. There's way more paint than I normally use or normally have left over. What I may do after I'm done with this and submit this, I may get another canvas and dip into all of my leftover paint. 
I like how that's developing. I don't have a lot of time. I have like five, yeah, three to five minutes. So, um, I want it to develop a little bit. I don't see a cow in it at all. I can kind of see like the flame look, but that's about it. So I'm taking a huge risk. Either people will know that it's mine and vote for me just because they know that it's mine. Or they won't vote for me because they know that it's mine. I want some of that pink on that corner. I don't know that, I don't really have time to do it again, so. I kind of like it though, and once it dries, I think I'll like it. Like I said, I may move this one once I'm done and submit this so that I can dip another canvas into that because I don't have any of my necklace pieces ready for dipping in there, and that's a whole lot of paint, so I might dip another canvas. I wanna torch one more time to see if I can activate anything else. Let's take the silicone and the Extreme Sheen paints a little bit of time to develop. So that's why I'm sitting and waiting just a few more minutes. But um, I think that's done. I'm going to have to take pictures from all four sides to see which way I want to submit it. I should, I could take time and do, put eyes in it somewhere. But I don't think I'm going to do that. It's just what it is. I love the cells developing over here, though. And the thing about this one is it will continue to, to develop as it sits here and as it dries because of that extreme... Sh the thing is, it will continue to change and develop cells and some lacing as it dries because of that Extreme Sheen paint and the Coconut Milk Hair Serum and that white that I put on at the end. So it's just going to keep changing, but I'm like a minute and a half less from away. I have to... I'm almost out of time, so I have to take you down and take a picture so that I can submit. And I might come back later and do the close-up and tell you some more. Okay, sorry I had to cut it short last time. I wanted to use this phone to take my picture to submit. And I hope I didn't go over my time. I was right around the 20-minute mark. I hope I wasn't over. If I was, oh well, because this is absolutely not a candle, a cow-shaped ballerina candle or something. That's not what it is. But I use colors that I would think, I use colors that that scheme reminded me of. So I'll go in and show you the details right now. But this will look way better when it dries because all of these cells like through here are going to continue to process and it's going to look different when it dries. I love all these cells that came up over here. Wow, there we go. I love all this stuff that came up over here. I love this um, Extreme Sheen Silver and the cells that it made. And I love, um, I'll go back up. I just, I love the lacing from this Extreme Sheen. I didn't quite touch on that corner real well, but maybe I'll do that in a second. I do like the red and orange, the way that it looks flame-like to me through here. And the yellow and the red and the flame look up here, I really like. And this blue, light blue violet was like my 
what I use for my candle. I like these cute little cells up here. For some reason, it's getting blurry. Um, and all of this lacing and these cells up here. I really like that Extreme Sheen Champagne Gold, too. And through here, you can see some of the pink that popped through that I used for my tutu color and a little bit of that light blue violet like from the candle because all of my colors just kind of got blown out together and there's one of the big black sections which is like a big black spot on a cow and then the hold on sorry a low battery message popped up and yes this is my new phone um and then like the pink and the light blue violet up in here in these cells and a big patch of the extreme sheen champagne gold but that's kind of like a brown cow spot to me so I like it overall it does not look like what my prompt was but I used the colors that the prompt reminded me of so I really like it I think I'll like it when it dries and I can't wait to see once I walk away and come back what kind of images I see in the lacing and the cells so that'll be it for this one, but I'll definitely do a dry result. I still have one from a long time ago that I didn't do a dry result on. And I don't know how soon I can share this video. So if I can't share this video until my game is over, then you won't see this for a while. But I don't know. I don't know when you'll see this. But thanks as always for watching and... As always, please like, subscribe, and share my videos, and have a blessed day. Bye!